the metahuman's face category contains primary attributes for blend targets, skin, eyes, teeth, and makeup. This module introduces and teaches you how to configure these attributes and their properties for your metahumans. So by clicking on the skin tab on the top left hand corner here, you have access to the skin attributes which contain categories that affect skin tone and complexion. So by using the selection tab to switch between the skin, freckles, and accents that can be adjusted, let's start by the skin properties. So by clicking on the color right here, we can use the color picker to select from realistic human values for skin tones. The texture property increases detail on the surface of the face, so it can make your metahuman feel older or more weather beaten. It's important to know that this will affect the geometry of the face, so keep that in mind. The contrast and roughness properties will define the lightness of the skin or how dry and oily skin can appear. So if I lower the roughness, the skin appears more oily, and by increasing the roughness, our skin appears a little more dry. Next up is the freckles tab. So the freckle properties set a pattern texture for freckles on the face. So once a pattern is selected, use the other property to define the look of freckles on the face. So use the density, strength, saturation, and tone shift to further define and blend the look of freckles on the skin. By adjusting the slider like this, increasing the strength, we also have a series of presets here to define the look of the freckles that you may want. Next up is the Skin Accents Properties tab up top here. So the Accents Properties tab is designed to adjust the skin tones in specific areas of your face. So you can use the head diagram here to select parts of the face where you want to define redness, saturation, lightness of the skin. So for example, if I want to make my forehead extremely red, same thing with the chin, lips, cheeks, ears, forehead, and the scalp. Now if you want to reset values for the area that's currently selected, so in this case the forehead, you can hit the clear selected button right here. Or alternatively, if you want to clear all face areas, click on clear all. So next up, the eyes category of the MetaHuman Creator contains primary attributes for the eyes with some presets, and you can use it to control the iris and the sclera settings of your eyes. So here we're going to talk about how to configure these attributes and their properties for your MetaHuman characters. So like we did before with the skin section, use the iris and sclera tab to switch between the properties to what you want to adjust. And here in the presets we have, well, a whole bunch of presets that you can choose for the colors of, and looks of your eyes. So if I want to give my guy here a preset 11, now he's got some greenish orangish eyes, which look awesome. But again, just like the way that we created our first metahuman, this is just the preset that we can further fine tune in the iris and sclera tab. So let's click on iris right here. And you'll see we have a whole bunch more properties to choose from. Now, first off, we can control which eye you want to work on. So if for whatever reason you want to have one eye that looks different from the other, David Bowie style, you can do this by clicking on this and setting it to left or right eye. Next up, we have the base color and the detail color we can choose from. So switching from this, let's say I want to make the center of my iris more blue. I can do that right here. And same thing with the detail color. I can change the outer rim of my iris to get the color that I want. So next up, we have the blend method, and you can choose between radial and structural. The radial method focuses the balance on the outer edge to define a ring around the iris based on the set detail color, while the structural pattern does not. So you can see that between these two, we have a very different look to our eyes, depending on what you want. So the color balance does what the name implies. It's going to balance between which part of the eye is, is blue and which part of the eye is green. So usually finding a middle point there is pretty good. And you can kind of choose the softness of that fall off with the color balance smoothness like this. So I can make a transition very hard like this. So if I zoom in a little bit more, you can see that this transition is a very harsh one. I can make that smoother by adjusting the color balance smoothness slider. The same thing can be done with structural. I can choose the color balance however I want, like this, and make it harder or softer, depending on, again, 
the look that you want. I'm going to leave it at radio for now because I like the way that looks. Next up is the iris size, which we can choose like this to make our iris small or large. Iris saturation does what the name implies. It'll control the saturation, how punchy the colors of your irises are. And the limbus darkness will control the darkness of the dark area on the outer rim of your iris, as you can see right here. Again, a midpoint tends to work pretty well. And lastly, we can control the pattern and the structure of the iris itself. And this is where things get really fascinating. So by clicking on this, we can change the look of the iris itself. This is going into really close detail. And unless you're doing extreme close-ups, this is probably a little bit of overkill, but it is really cool to have control over that. I'm going to stick with this one because I think that looks really nice. So with the iris settings covered, let's move over to the sclera tab up top. Now the sclera is the white part of the eye. So again, we can control one or both eyes. So you can use a tint to give your metahuman some more bloodshot eyes. We can control the brightness. Now at for sclera rotation, there are two layers of tiny veins that can be rotated. One for the outer layer of the sclera and one for the other vein below the surface. Each of these can be rotated independently using the sclera rotation and the veins rotation properties. So you'll see how we can, when I rotate this slider, the veins are sort of rotating. This is ultimately not all that useful, but again, it's awesome to have that level of control. You can control the visibility of the second layer using the vascularity property, where zero is not visible and one is entirely visible. So doing this or that. Next up, let's talk about the teeth tab up here. And now when you click on the teeth tab, you'll notice that your character goes into a rather awkward smiley position. This is really to show off the teeth themselves. So let's zoom in here. You're gonna to want to use the teeth property to customize the look and style your teeth for your metahuman. So this includes the customization of the teeth, the gums, and color and variation amounts. So the topmost panel of this section right here is a visual representation of the teeth and a control point that can be adjusted. So each of these control points corresponds to different parts of the teeth and the gums available from the drop down menu right here. For each control point, it can be adjusted by dragging the individual control point sliders right here by entering a value in the text field or by using the slider in the menu. So to give you an example, we have poly canine selected here. And we can control the intensity of how canine like our teeth are just like this. We also have the variation slider to control, well, the variation of the shape of our teeth. Again, if I want to choose the tooth spacing, I can also do this right here. So you have full control over all areas of the teeth and the gum to generate a wide range of styles that include length and the spacing of the teeth, underbite, receding gums, and much more. Now, next up is a tooth color. So we can choose between the color of our teeth, make them more white, give them some cleaner looking teeth. Same with the gum color. We have a selection of realistic gum color for our metahuman and plaque color. You can control the plaque amount as well, like this. And if you want to have a better view of the teeth, we can open the jaw with the jaw open slider right here. This can make it easier to see variations and change it when editing the control points of your teeth. Now, the last section of this module is the makeup category, and this contains a selection of eye and lip makeup styles with configurable properties. So starting off with the eyes tab up top, this makeup panel provides a selection of makeup patterns and properties to adjust their looks. So we can get this cat eye makeup or a dramatic smudge or a classic bar, thin liner, whatever you like. You can use the color picker to select the makeup's primary color, then use the roughness slider, transparency, and metalness properties to define the glossiness and amount of eye makeup applied. So for example, if I'm gonna crank this up very high, it lowers the intensity of the makeup, and by lowering it, we have it very strong. 
So if you want to make your makeup more metallic, let's give it a color to more clearly demonstrate this. Something like that. And you'll see that now our makeup has a subtle metallic property to it. If I turn the metalness down to zero, you'll see that now it doesn't have any metalness to it at all. So it is really nice to have control over that look. Next up is the lips tab on the top. So the lips makeup provides a set of selectable lipstick makeup patterns for the lips of your metahuman. So again, we can control the color, roughness, and transparency to define the glossiness and the amount of lipstick applied. So by choosing a more natural thing here, and I'm gonna change this to blue, for example, I can make this very rough, very matte, or very glossy. Same thing with, if you wanna make it feel more natural, set it to one, and very unnatural, you can set the transparency to zero. And just like that, the MetaHuman Creator gives us all the controls we need to really configure just about every aspect of a face that we could need. With these tips under our belt, we now have what we need to carry on to the next module of this course.